Hello, this is uh, Philip. Welcome to my channel for this new episode of uh, KOS. Today will be about physics tick. And uh, physics tick is not a very essential uh, notion you have to, to know to code with KOS, but it is good to understand what is it. Before that, I want to show you something. Uh, print, you know uh, what uh, it means, print time colon seconds. I don't forget the uh, period character. And this is a number of seconds. Uh, this is the number of seconds passed since the beginning of the game. When you start a new game, the number of uh, seconds is zero. Okay, And then the game continue, uh, the clock goes on, and uh, at this point for my game, uh, 16,528 seconds have, have passed. Uh, for example, you can put uh, print time and uh, instead of seconds, you can write full and you have the full date here, year one, day one, four hours, uh, 36 sec uh, minutes and eight seconds. Look at this. Year one, day one, four hours, 36 uh, minutes. And of course, the, the seconds uh, are changing. Okay, you can um, write clock and uh, you don't have the year and the day, just have the clock here. Okay, I'm today I'm interesting on seconds. Uh, let's have a look at this script. Uh, first, I clear, clear the screen, all right? Then I print seconds past with the, uh, the quote character plus uh, time seconds. Uh, you know that those, wor those words between the quote characters uh, are, are being printed exactly as uh, they are uh, written here. And here, there is no uh, quote character, so that means uh, that uh, KOS will print the value of that uh, number. Uh, it, uh, it won't write uh, the word time and the word seconds. It, it will uh, print the value of uh, this thing. And uh, the plus sign here is to uh, print those words and the value one after the other. Let's have a look. I save the script and run tests. You see, seconds passed and the value. And I waited, I have waited one second on my script and I print one second later one second later is written here and the value of time seconds. Okay, so um, here this value must be one second later than this value. If you look at the number, the number here uh, finishes with uh, five four and here with five five. Okay, that seems good because uh, the time one second passes. Uh, okay. Uh, so, if you look at the number after uh, the, the point here, the decimal part of this number, we we'll see that uh, the digits are all the same, but one, the second one here. Okay, Th there is a difference. There is a difference of 0 0.02 seconds. And this difference is the uh, physics tick. If we look at the documentation of uh, KOS, it is written here, Kerbal Space Program simulates the universe by running the universe in small incremental time intervals that for the purpose of this document, we will call physics ticks. Okay, so physics ticks are called that way by KOS. And uh, the game tries to simulate the universe using 50 physics ticks per second. That is uh, 0 0.02 seconds per tick. And 
here we are we have the uh, 0 0.02 seconds okay that, that means that the the, the 0 0.02 seconds is the interval of time of uh, that physic uh, tick that physics tick next uh, it is written that uh, there is a lot of variation depending on on uh, how fast your computer is, how easily you are loading it with large rockets and or complex modes. Okay, and uh, if you continue to to read that part, it explains uh, why sometimes your your clock here uh, turns yellow or uh, red. It turns yellow when the the rate of uh, of these physics ticks are. Uh, the rate is lower than uh, uh, 50. This sentence is very important. The entire simulated universe is utterly frozen during the duration of a physics tick. A physics tick. That means that between two ticks, uh, all the values of the universe are the same. Um, for example, the, the altitude of your ship uh, the position of cabin around a uh, Kerbal, uh, the position of the moon uh, around a uh, Kerbin, uh, I don't know, the, the, the atmospheric pressure, the, the amount of fuel uh, in your uh, rockets. Um, between two ticks, does, all of those values don't change at all. Uh, each time uh, KSP changes uh, from one, one tick to another, the values are updated. But between two ticks, nothing moves at all. And uh, KOS works uh, using the, the, those ticks, uh, meaning between two ticks, uh, KOS doesn't do anything. KOS could be uh, running faster than that, uh, but uh, it is written uh, here. Uh, versions more recent than the version uh, 0 0.17 uh, uh, started executed code on physics ticks. Okay, uh, so uh, to make script behavior more consistent across different computers with different frame rates. Uh, another thing, physics ticks are not the FPS. That explains the uh, difference here of 0 0.02 seconds. Now let's see something else. Uh, imagine I wait for 0 0.04 uh, seconds. Um, let's, let's print only uh, the numbers. Okay. Um, I'm going to, to do some to, to run some tests here. Uh, this will be the same. So up uh, wait 0. Point, so remember one tick is 0 0.02 seconds. So here I'm uh, higher. The, the, the time is greater than than one tick. okay. Uh, here I'm writing a number uh, lower than uh, 0 0.02 uh, seconds and uh, I can even write wait 0. Okay, save the game, run tests. Okay, let me try uh, explaining uh, those results. Okay, the, the first number is okay time seconds. Okay. Well, the second number, uh, the, the script has waited one second. Okay, and uh, we know now that the difference here is one second plus 0 0.02 seconds for uh, one tick. Okay, plus one uh, physics tick. Okay, physics tick. So it's uh, plus 0 0.2 seconds. Then I wait 0 0.04 and uh, notice here we have 43 and the next one is 49. Why is that? Because we have waited 0 0.04 seconds plus 0 0.2 seconds of a physics tick. A physics tick. 
So that means uh, 0 0.06 seconds have passed. And that is a 0 0.06 we noticed here. Uh, then we wait 0 0.001. This is less than uh, 0 0.02 seconds. That means between those those values, uh, th those two numbers are into the same physics tick. N not exactly. That means that uh, this is uh, from uh, one physics tick. Okay, so uh, physics tick uh, uh, number one, and this is the physics tick. Physics tick uh, number two. Why is that? Because when you write a wait here, you are saying to KOS, stop, stop running and wait the next physics tick. So this is running uh, from the first physics tick and this is running on the second uh, physics tick. So between the two, this 0 0.001 has, uh, doesn't matter at all. And uh, between those two times, uh, only 0 0.02 seconds uh, have passed. And this is the difference you can, you can notice here. That means that uh, the, the value here doesn't matter if it is less than 0 0.02. What matters here is the keyword weight because the weight says um, to KOS please stop and wait until the next the next physics tick and that's why here the weight zero does exactly the same that weight zero point zero one because uh, if if KOS wait it waits for the next physics tick. And that's why here you have also 0 0.02 seconds. You have a difference of 0 0.02 seconds. And uh, what happens now if I uh, print the number of seconds without the wait instruction? Uh, run test. One second later, 0 0.06 second later, 0 0.02 second later, 0, uh, 0.02, and here we go. You see that? Between those two last values, there is no difference at all, because here we are on the same physics ticks. Physics tick. Okay. Without the weight, uh, KOS still are in the same physics tick, so the numbers are frozen. So uh, it is exactly the same amount of uh, time uh, in the in the KO KSP world, in the KSP universe, in in the real world. This is this is not exact. The, the, there is a, a tiny fraction of seconds between the the two lines here so uh, with uh, with a lot of digits we, we should notice at a moment uh, a difference but in the KSP world in KSP universe because each moment lasts 0 0.02 there is no difference and uh, this is it this is uh, why uh, the weight instruction is important I repeat um, it is not essential to, to understand uh, how physics ticks uh, work, but well, it, it is better to know uh, that physic, physics ticks exist to understand some, uh, some numbers you, you can calculate yourself in physics formula, for example, if you want to, to, uh, to uh, compute yourself a uh, formula of, uh, I don't know, the, the, to know the delta v of your of your rocket, or, uh, or to use some equations, some AV equations, uh, some math formulas, it is important to to know that that, that those physics ticks uh, exist. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.
拜拜。